the embattled national chairman uh, for the embattled national chairman of the Labour Party, Comrade Julius Abure, the long walk to freedom is not yet, if you ask me. Uh, the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, has the has declared the Wednesday National Convention of the party, which re-elected him, a nullity. You know, the Board of Trustees, BOT of the party, has dismissed the Anambra Convention, calling it a charade, and dismissed the Abure as party leader. Doctor, the coming days are very interest, interesting for the Labour Party. You can add the Independent National Electoral Commission to that list. Ah. Because it says it doesn't recognize the convention. Wow. And well, the, the critical law for you to hold the convention is that it must be recognized by INEC. By the, the Independent National yeah. Electoral Commission. The spokesman of the chairman wrote me a comment, said this morning that it's not recognized. Meaning that that convention has to hold again. Okay. That's the meaning. So, and uh, aren't you aren't you surprised because Comrade Abule, Abure is a lawyer. He should know. Well, in this country, we've seen so many things happen. Mm. Even lawyers who are senior advocates of Nigeria being fined by courts for bringing suits that they know from the onset, should not have been brought to court. Mm. Are even at this level of the Supreme Court. So I think what the party needs to do, because there is no country that will survive, that is operating a democracy, that won't have a strong opposition party. As far as a lot of people are concerned, the PDP is no longer serving that purpose. Mm. So. A lot of people are looking up to the Labour Party. But in the last few months, especially after the general election, the party has been in trouble. Yeah. And it started with accounting for money mm. received and spent during that general yeah. election. I don't know what, what is so big a thing there to do. The Independent National Electoral Commission has made it very easy for parties to cope with um, handling their electoral uh, election spendings. Mm. There are forms that they have devised. So it's just a matter of going there, following what has been programmed for you to do. We spend this on this, we receive this, this, how, you know. It's just a matter of in income and outflow, mm. the inflow and the outflow. Till date, is still a problem, which kicked off all of these issues that led to this convention having the itches. It has had. Mm. Even the presidential candidate, Peter Obi, said, go and account for this money. This was how much I, as a presidential candidate, raised, and this was how I spent it. So what is difficult to do? All right in that for the party. GD4, a, a new kid on the block, if you ask me. The Labour Party just joined the fray. Um, many, many... You didn't just join the mm. No, no, no. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> Labour Party... For so long. Mm. Uh, but they, they've been cold, if you ask me, uh, until the last election. But, you know, young Nigerians will be, be disappointed. This is happening with, with the party. Don't you yeah, think? They should be disappointed. Uh, if they are sincere, if they are not hypocritical, if they are not delusional, they should be disappointed. Because we are seeing things that they complained about in the other parties, mm -hmm. happening in the party that they cherish so much. Mm -hmm. So, they should be disappointed, they should be worried. I don't know what transpired along the line. The law is clear. If INEC does not supervise your convention. It's a nullity. It's a nullity. But if you provided, because the law says you must give INEC 30 days notice. Okay. 
if you give INEC 30 days notice and they acknowledge receiving your communication to them, mm -hmm. then it can become uh, a legal matter, in which case Labour Party would prove or be required to prove that it notifies INEC within the time frame that the law provides. Okay. And that INEC had no reason to not I didn't, uh, monitor yeah. the uh, convention. I know that this convention, the venue was changed three times. Will it be that that change of venue was not communicated to INEC because you have to do these things properly. They are not sub they are ought to be an individual within the leadership of the party who will be relating with INEC at every turn on this matter. If there's a change of venue necessitated by uh, the possibility of violence and all that, you have to get Define. INEC yeah. uh, informed. That person has the duty of constantly talking to them ensuring that INEC plays that role of supervising, uh, of witnessing, not supervising, yeah. the, I think su supervising is the wrong mm. word, of witnessing, witnessing the, convention. The, uh, the convention. Maybe as a result of the venue change that they were doing, the last venue was not communicated to INEC, and I next decided to stay away. Maybe, just maybe. Um, I don't have the answer. I don't know what transpired because I next did not also explain yeah. in the story that I read why it stayed away. You know? So it's, um, the situation is uh, like it's something in a state of flux. We don't know what exactly transpired. But if INEC was informed and Labour got an acknowledgement letter signed, then INEC cannot deny that it was told, it was informed about the uh, convention. So INEC is obligated to then send somebody for. Otherwise, INEC will be taken to court. They may lose the case. But if INEC, INEC cannot help a party leadership to run the party. That's not it. What INEC, what INEC would do if confronted by this situation is that, okay, they'll wait for you. A by-election is coming. A main election is coming. They will not accept candidates that you, you put forward from a leadership of the party that in their view is illegal. Yeah. <laughs> and if you cannot provide uh, your candidates for an election. What are you doing as a political party? Mm. Well, the political party ex exists <laughs> to take part in elections. And the Labour Party is now in, in a position to take part in most elections in our country. In the past, there were such uh, um, um, politically so little that in many contests they didn't bother to yeah. take part. Yeah. But at least we saw from the conduct of the last election that they were quite strong in some areas and they, they, they came up with candidates. So in this case, if this matter is not resolved, whoever Labour Party presents as his candidate in future elections by this same leadership, hmm. INEC will not accept. So they've got to find a way to resolve this. And of course, uh, the political arm of NLC has already made it clear <laughs> that uh, it does not uh, want to have anything to do with the convention that produced Abure. The NLC president and his, um, his people, they are bent on taking control of that party. All right. Now it will appear that uh, they've been beaten to the game with uh,
Barrister Abure imagine in such a simple manner. <laughs> now they are saying, no, we do not agree. So the contest for the soul of Labour Party will continue long after this convention. No one can say where this will all end. Yeah. Dato, the other leg to this story is the fact that the Labour Party has reserved uh, tickets for Peter Obi and Governor Oti of Abia. Uh, well, <laughs> Re reconcile that with what we are discussing. What is, well, what <laughs> um, we've always known it, that parties do is to give um, incumbents right or false refusal when they can seek re-election. Okay. But I think the um, Labour Party is also trying to ensure that the man who brought them that sudden surge in popularity and um, support doesn't leave. Because in all of this crisis in the Labour Party, people are also watching. Mm. Including Peter Obi himself. From the sidelines. Including Peter Obi himself. Mm. Saying, okay, how does it pan out? Because he's still young and stands a good chance of running again in 2027. So it's the platform. If the Labour Party continues on this path, it's not likely to have the kind of appeal that it had in 2023 and 2027. Mm. So they also know. And, and the BOT of the party is not helping matters. The BOT, BOT says, no, we don't know you mm. as the leader. NLC, which is seen as the father mm. of the party, though workers have a right to affiliate with any other party, is also saying, no, we don't want your leadership. So there are problems here and there. So for Peter Obitu, it's a matter of, let's put him there. Let's give him advance uh, acknowledgement that we still want you as a presidential candidate. That, that's to preempt anything. To preempt his perhaps exit mm. and to sustain the support the party has had. So it's a matter of trying to play politics. And it's understandable. But like Vicky said, if the party continues and on this path, path Mm. It is not likely, even in uh, off-season elections, to be able because it could be a, it, this can be a ground for future litigation for candidates who manage to win elections mm. on the platform of and, the party. And, and you are wondering, Gideon, you are you're wondering if these things are not planned to go this way. Oh, you know, I do not even believe that they are planned to go this way. There is um, greed for power. It's evident. Hmm. It's evident that um, <clears throat> some people want to take control of the party. Yeah. And uh, Abure and his people are desperate to hold on to power. Because and they've I, seen I, the benefits I, that come with... Uh, La media Papa really is power. not uh, letting go. Oh, ah, yeah, but right now, there's even not little, or nothing, no, little or nothing is happening from his side. Uh, yeah, it's not getting attention. Um, the time when he was gaining currency has gone. <laughs> At this time, hmm. it is the battle to take the leadership of the party away from Abure by the political wing of the oh, NLC, NLC yeah. that is responsible for what what uh, we are hearing, and they are not going to leave him alone. They call him a thief. They said he has not accounted for money spent uh, on the nomination forms mm -hmm. and all that. If you said this party is meant to help ordinary workers to be able to seek political power, why were you selling forms at such an exorbitant rate? Can the ordinary farmer pay, I mean, ordinary uh, worker million. pay 50 million? for an oh, expression okay of then. interest okay or then. nomination form. All right. I hear we must go on. Um, we'll take a, a breather now, uh, have a commercial break, but we would return. Please stay with us.